Hello and welcome to a short tutorial about how to use ThingLink. After you're logged in, click on the Me tab and add a new image to start a new project. I found this picture by Norwegian Gustav Wenzel and thought it was very appropriate for a ThingLink about Norwegian immigration. When I found the image, I clicked on the image so that I have the only the image open and you can see that it's a JPG or a photo file. So I copy that web address and I click on the web, web URL link, paste the link in the box, and click tag this image. The first thing to do is rename your image. It's very easy to add a tag. As the message says, click to add a tag. So I can click here. I can choose different icons. You can choose different colored circles or different symbols, whatever you'd like make sure that the symbol matches the type of information you're providing. Okay, so I'm going to leave it as a black circle. What I wanted to add was a picture of the, the ship that the people from Norway sailed on to reach America for the first time in 1825. This is a picture of that ship in Google um, search. You do not want to add it from here. You always want to click on view image and use that web address. It's going to provide the most consistent success. Okay, so I then paste it into the blank and then I would add my text. And there you can see that it appears. Okay, when you're finished, click Save Tag and you can always go back and edit just by clicking on it. Uh, your thing link does not save automatically. You need to click the save button on a fairly regular basis. When you do that, it takes you to a preview of your image. So now I can see that this is what, how it looks so far. Okay, and then I can click on edit again to continue working on it. You can search for information throughout the web. Um, here's a, again another image that I found. So I'm going to control C to copy, then I click on the image to add another tag. This one I'm changing the icon to red. I paste the, the address and I write in some text. You can search for information on the web using a Google search or you can search directly in ThingLink. ThingLink's search engine is not as effective as Google. You will find Im images and information that you can use in ThingLink. I found a sound clip of a radio program produced in Minnesota where you can hear that the Norwegian immigrants influenced their accent. I click on the SoundCloud recording in the search results and the edit tag box opens up so that I can edit the tag and add more information. Then I click save this tag when I'm finished. Continue adding links, pictures, videos, sound files until you have answered all of the questions linked within the information you provide. When you're finished, be sure to click on save. To share your thing link with your teachers and your classmates, you'll click on the share button. You'll copy the link from here. You will submit the link on the survey on the final page of the website. Fill in all of the information, paste your link in the space provided, record what immigration you are covering, and then click Submit. As people enter their links, they will appear in the spreadsheet below the submission form. Thanks for watching.